Hey everybody, morning vlog. So it's Friday morning and I'm off to do two things. Get my coffee. I might get a bagel, but I think I'm gonna fast today. Good to fast, it's good for your health. Then I gotta go to the back and I take care of some biking. And uh, yeah, we're supposed to have the new video store site, big cleanup I mentioned previously. That should be done in the next couple of days. We shall see, we shall see. And uh, big thing coming up next week for me, at least in, uh, well, for me, for the business, we're going to be moving off our last dedicated server next, next week or the week after. I think it's next week, actually. At least we're going to be planning it. We're going to be moving off our last dedicated server. I guess this is, and we're going pure cloud now. I have a lot of stuff on the cloud now. But we have our last dedicated server box that's going to be uh, shut down and we'll be transferring over the sites and the app, well, the apps from that dedicated server into the cloud for cloud based uh, hosting, which is uh, pretty cool because then I will, won't have to worry about a single point of failure, meaning when you're on physical dedicated servers, you have to worry about the hard, a hard drive might fail or a power supply might fail or your board might burn, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But when you're on the cloud, you're virtualized, you don't have to worry about that. It's all taken care of for you. So it's cool, I found a cloud host provider that not only provides the cloud services, they provide full turnkey uh, maintenance and upkeep of your servers, automatic backup, DDoS attack, uh, patch up applications, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Priority support, you pay a touch more, and all of a sudden, you don't need to have uh, a Linux expert uh, working for you, or you don't have to become a Linux expert yourself to manage your own, uh, your virtual private server. So that's very, very cool. Excited about that. Rainy day today. I'm going to end this video with a shot of the, uh, the foggy mountain. Um, here's a little bit of advice for people out there, nerd advice. Now, uh, I'm a little older than most of you guys in my 40s, so I have a little experience uh, besides the business and the coding and the uh, and other things, also the dating. And let me say, I have my battle scar. See this white patch here? That's from one X. This white patch here? That's from another X. Two girls whose names I will not name. But um, unusual individuals, we'll just put it at that. If you go out on a first date with somebody, or a second date, and the uh, girl mentions her ex-boyfriend, you walk in by a restaurant, she goes, oh, me and my ex, we used to go there, mentions him by name. That is a major red flag, and I would suggest to you, I would uh, <whistles> vacate the premises nicely, obviously, She's got some issues with the ex, and from my experience, those issues will come crashing in. Could be a week later, it could be a month later, they will. So uh, I would flee the scene if I were you, in those circumstances. All right, dating tip from a nerd. Do what you will.